What's up, fam, and thank you so, so much for stopping by the channel. Once again, from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey. So today's video, I have a very, very special guest. This is Khan, say what's up, brother. What's up, guys, I'm Khan, and I met Paul uh, a while back, way, way back before he started his channel. And I was in line for uh, the Pirate Blacks raffles, and he just happened to come by, and we started talking, and I've been a subscriber until now. Dude, thank you so much for the support, man. I know he's been there from the very beginning. I e this picture right here. We took it at South Coast Plaza. I believe it was just after the first drop. Yeah. And yeah, that was so cool. Like, I mean, the fact of the matter is you've been rocking with the channel for a long time, and I appreciate you. Thank we kind of kicked it off from there, and now we're happily buddies now, man. I'm super stoked about it. So as you guys have probably already seen in the title, or you probably already searched it up, today we have the Fear of God basketball sneakers. I know a lot of people were roasting these, saying they look like the Geo Baskets. I personally love the Geo Baskets, so I feel like that's not an insult at all. Um, all things considered, I feel like these are more ready to wear. I feel like these are a lot more like easy to wear. They're not quite as extreme. And for us short guys, I know you feel yeah. this pain as well. Uh, like these are a little bit better because a little bit lower as like, you know, with regard to like how tall they are. Anyways, Con, I wanted to get your initial like instincts. What do you think of owning these shoes? What do you think about them thus far? My first impression or after a few days I wore my shoes is that they are not the same aesthetic as the fourth collection. Yeah, as, um, a little bit different. Military sneakers, yes. Yeah. They're more of a sporty look in my opinion. Yeah. As you can see, they look a little bit bigger because of the white stripes on them, you know? Mm -hmm. They look huge, but <laughs> our feet, they look just as slim as the military sneakers. Honestly, they are so beautiful, like in person. Um, I know there's a lot of pictures out there and I don't think it does it true justice. When I see this shoe, I really get like a shoe that's been literally pulled um, from the early 90s, that like retro sportswear she kind of look, and it's kind of been built up. So um, around the top here, the upper is comprised of this really high quality leather, super thick, super structured. Um, I see these aging really beautifully over time. The toe box here, um, it's got like, it'll crease up, but I feel like it'll give the shoe more character, if that makes sense. Um, with regard to the midsole, and I'm gonna use uh, the Fear God military sneaker as reference. With regard to the midsole, I see that um, it's actually been lifted. Uh, just like on the other pair, a lot of people were unsure about this, but um, everything's exactly the same. The stitching uh, going around is exactly the same. The outsole is exactly the same. Um, everything with regard to the midsole is exactly the same. The real difference here is gonna be the upper, that very nice high quality leather as I stated earlier. Of course, we're missing uh, some of the, like the pack things that we knew the military sneaker to have. Uh, for example, the back doesn't have a pull tab. Um, of course, there's no strap, which makes this shoe a lot more as Khan had already so uh, pointly said. Uh, these are a great shoe uh, that kind of emphasizes this idea of sportswear chic. Uh, so I think that's the biggest difference overall between the two. Uh, it's a beautiful shoe uh, to say the least. Um, of course, like seeing them side by side, it definitely has like an overall different characteristic. Uh, side by side, uh, the military sneaker is taller. I do notice that right off the uh, the jump. Uh, just slightly taller, I'd say between an inch to an yes. inch and a half, would you say? Yes. Yeah, I think that's about right. And sizing wise, if you guys are looking to purchase these, they run just as big as the military sneakers. On the military sneakers, go with that same size. You should be good to go. Okay hey guys, keep in mind, size Paul said he's wearing size 40, which is equivalent to size seven in US, which is very small. Like, thanks dude. Yeah. <laughs> small feet doesn't mean anything, bro. I'm just saying. Small socks. But like, size nine in these, I mean, Paul's wearing size nine in his other shoes, but only gets size seven in these. Yeah. Which shows how big these are. Yeah. And how long they could, you know, it's very skinny and it's mm -hmm. long. So yeah. you have to be, be careful when you pick which sizes. All right, guys, so that is our review of the Fear of God basketball sneakers. Feel free to stick around because we're gonna be putting some outfits together. Con will be putting them on as well as myself. And we're gonna wear them and show you guys what they look like on foot and some items that we wear with these shoes. So uh, please enjoy it. As always, guys, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up as it does go such a long way for us YouTubers. 
and comment down below what you think about the shoes. Are they nice? Do you like them? Did these convince you to get them? Are they worth that $1,000 price point that they're priced at? My personal opinion with regard to luxury, craftsmanship, it's all there. So it's definitely a subjective matter. I would probably pay $1,000 for these. I'm not gonna lie, I would. <laughs> they're so I sick. Lucky. I was lucky to get these under retail. So You're blessed, man. I was so blessed to get these. That's the only reason why I bought them. I would not buy them over a thousand. Oh snap! Yeah, that's a not. really honest answer. Yeah, I would not get them over a thousand dollars. Well, that's good insight. I feel like I would because I'm a Jerry boy.